Why is there only lightning when it rains? Stacking clouds. Thunderstorms only occur in a stack cloud. In this cloud, air flows up and down very quickly, making it hot and cold again. This causes drops or even hailstones. Electrically charged. Because the air moves so fast, the drops or hailstones get electrically charged. This means that they get a plus positively charged or a minus negatively charged, just like in a battery. The pluses float at the top of the cloud, the minuses at the bottom and then things go wrong. The pluses and minuses want to discharge. They don't want to be plus or minus, but all the same. Discharge. The discharge happens with a huge spark, the lightning. The lightning can get as hot as 30,000 degrees Celsius, five times as hot as the sun. If you are farther from the storm, first see the lightning and only then hear the thunder. This is because light is a million times faster than sound. What happens during a lightning? The electrically charged particles in a cloud attract each other. The particles want to come together to discharge themselves. After a discharge, they are then no longer negatively or positively charged, but neutral. That discharge happens through a huge spark, the lightning. Most discharges happen in the clouds themselves or between a number of clouds. It seems as though the lightning runs from the sky to the earth, but that is not the case. The visible part of the lightning extends from bottom to top. The lightning channel comes into contact with the opposite charge close to earth and the short circuit starts below. We cannot see this with our naked eye, because the journey of lightning between earth and cloud is only a fraction of a second. So it is lightning fast. Why is it so loud? When lightning shoots toward the ground, it looks like it's happening all at once but it's actually moving really fast, about 60 miles per second. When you're in the car, you might go 60 miles in an hour, so lightning is that much faster than a car. As the lightning shoots through the air, it heats that air up because lightning is hotter than the sun. When air gets that hot, that fast, it explodes, which is why you hear thunder after you see lightning. Why is the thunder always after the lightning? Because thunder is a sound, and sound moves slower than light. Lightning is so bright that you can see it for miles and miles, but thunder can't always go that far. So, sometimes you see lightning and don't even hear it, which means it's pretty far away. With a diameter of approximately 2.5 centimeters, or 1 inch, a lightning beam is about the same size as a 2 euro coin. A vertical lightning beam is approximately 5 to 6 kilometers long and a horizontal lightning beam can be 8 to 16 kilometers long. Did you know? There are 1800 thunderstorms at any time of the day? If you like our video please hit the subscribe button and if you like to be updated for the latest videos hit the notification bell. Thank you for watching.